we have our Bud Tender Insights event coming up today and we are talking all about terpenes. So we're gonna go get some fruits and vegetables from the store that contain some of the common terpenes that we find in cannabis. Let's go. There are hundreds of different terpenes in the plant world and we're gonna be just looking for maybe eight to 10 of them. In some of these, maybe something like geranial or linalool. Ooh, we're definitely gonna find limonene in these lemons. Let's also grab a grapefruit, because there you can get, I don't think there's a grapefruit terpene, but I know that there's like great grapefruit strains. So let's get a grapefruit. Somewhere around here, there's gotta be some basil um, that we'll use as our mercy example. Uh, people always think of myrcene as uh, in mangoes. Here's some basil. Basil. Oh, it smells so good. Everyone always thinks of myrcene in mangoes, but there was actually a study done. We talked about uh, we talked about this with Dr. Cody Peterson on our terpene episode of Talking Potheads that there's not actually a significant amount of myrcene in mangoes. Um, so super interesting, just kind of one of those things that perpetuated. Like they also have mint. Hmm, this does not smell as fragrant as the basil. Pineapple. Again, I'm not sure if there's a little pineapple terpene, but there are some great pineapple strains that really do smell like fresh pineapple. Okay, I can only find the living basil and living mint. Can't find any cut herbs anywhere. So I guess we'll just go for that, why not? Can I also get the mint plant? I feel like the answer is yes. Let's see. Sometimes if you like rub your fingers against it, it's more fragrant. That's really not that fragrant. I kind of don't want you. I kind of don't want you. Sorry, mint. Okay, let's go find some caryophylline. Definitely find caryophylline over here. A lot of peppercorns. I use whole cloves in my elderberry syrup recipe. Oh, it smells like Christmas. I think that's what I'm gonna get for today. I'm still gonna look around and find some, see if I can find some lavender, but um, I think that's my list. But for pine, I need to go find a tree for pine. So now we're gonna go see if we can find some pine brown branches at the local park. We will keep looking. Okay, there are lots of pine trees over there. So I'm gonna walk over there and see if I can find something. <clears throat> Here we go. This is low enough that I can just take it. But I was trying to not pull it off the tree if I could. Something over there. It kind of, it, it kind of smells. Maybe I will get some fresh off of the tree so it can smell fresher. Because let's see. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff right there. Spruce tips. Another, uh, oops, another thing you can make tea out of. It's very good for your immune system. I think there's a lot of vitamin C in spruce tips. Okay, let's maybe take some of this down. Okay, we're abandoning the big four branch and just pulling off. Pulling off some branches. It's probably more than enough, but. All right, good enough.
And here is how the table looked all together. Melissa made these really cute labels and then True Terpenes brought in some terpenes that people could smell. And Laurel Crest also brought some terpene diffusers so we could smell them that way too. It turned out to be a really cool interactive way for people to get hands on with terpenes as we dove deeper into that topic with our amazing panel. Thank you so much to everybody who came to Bud Tender Insights last night. We had a blast.